Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? It's the kid Aubrey. Man, I really don't even have nothing else to say after this. Man, Super Bowl 51. Okay, I'm pretty sure y'all got damn watched Super Bowl 51. I'm just going to touch a little bases on it. Man, Falcons and the goddamn Patriots. Now, listen, I live in Atlanta, right? Atlanta Falcons, they're, they're the team. Like, everybody is a Falcons fan. Obviously, I'm in the ATL. So, me being a Giants fan and me, you know, my team not being in the playoffs, I'm tight. I'm tight. And when I say I'm tight, I mean mad for y'all to, for y'all who don't know. You understand New York lingo. Tight means mad, upset, pissed, whatever. My Giants aren't in the playoffs. So, yeah, I don't have a dog in the fight, man, because we got obliterated by the damn Packers. Aaron Rodgers went crazy, whatever, 13-38. to 38, But we're not going to speak on that because Odell and Victor Cruz and Sterling Shepard and all those other wide receivers are on the damn boat. It's whatever. We're not going to speak on it, bitch. You dig it and see it. Anyways, so I don't have a dog in the fight, man. My Falcons, my Falcons, my Giants are not in the playoffs anymore. So, yeah, I'm with the Falcons, man, because I live in Atlanta, man. I live in Atlanta. So I'm like, all right, let me root for the Falcons, right? So now I got my friends sitting here going in on me because they know I'm a Falcons hater. But little do they know, I used to be a Falcons fan back when they had Warwick Dunn and Michael Vick and all them, like. I used to be a fan, I used to use the motherfuckers on Madden all the time, I used to use Michael Vick back in 04, 99 speed, you understand what I'm saying, so little do they know I used to be a Falcons fan, that's why I'm a little crypt critical of them, because I used to like them, but whatever, long story short, fuck them, you know what I'm saying, because they suck, but you understand, I used to be a fan of them, so I don't have a dog in the fight, <clears throat> so it's the Falcons and the Patriots, they're sitting here, the Falcons are sitting here lighting up every damn team in the postseason, like lit up the Broncos, the Broncos, lit up the Seahawks, and lit up the Packers, so they're playing the goddamn Patriots, now Tom Brady is the GOAT, we're gonna get that, we're just gonna go ahead and get that out the way, Tom Brady is the damn GOAT, these passes, I don't know what's going on with the Falcons secondary, the secondary is young, they're at least like 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 years of age playing against an experienced Tom Brady who's been to seven Super Bowls. And he is 39 years of age. Like he has not seen this before. So what I'm saying is I don't understand how you're up 28 to 3. This is after the halftime, but at halftime you were up 21-3. Then it goes up 28-3. Okay, like I knew the game was gonna be. I know I thought the Falcons was gonna blow them out because in the first quarter it was 0 0, right? Nobody scored. Second quarter, 7 0, then 14 0, then 21 0, then 21 3, then 21 21, then 28 3. Then the Patriots want to storm back in the third and fourth quarter and then just, just obliterate y'all chances of freaking winning the game. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, Falcons, y'all haven't been to the Super Bowl since 1998. Y'all been to, like, I think two other NFC championships besides this run right here with Michael Vick and then Matt Ryan back in 2012, I believe. And then Michael Vick, I'm not sure which year that was. But it's, like, it's ridiculous. Like, the Hawks aren't doing good either. Like, they haven't went to the damn finals in I don't know how long. This shit is ridiculous. Like, Atlanta, I think Atlanta is cursed because they cannot make it to a damn finals a super bowl and when they do make it to the damn super bowl they lose damn the freaking offense showed up that defense got gassed in the third and fourth quarter because tom brady kept their asses on their heels the entire game like you're like tom brady has no star wide receivers and in the year he does have a star wide receiver what happens they lose to my giants twice in 2007 and then 2011 we just going to go ahead and throw that stat out there I'm fall off my nuke by the way you know what I'm saying this is my first TDM nuke that's you know what I'm saying I had to upload this I couldn't believe I got a damn nuke and TDM and I'm playing with a friend too I'm playing with a friend too you heard so I'm camping my dick off anyways back to the Super Bowl so the Super Bowl you know it was a, let me tell you something it was a good ass game I ain't gonna lie to you like it was a good ass. I ain't gonna say it was a good ass game. I would say, like the last quarter of it, it was kind of competitive. I don't even know if I could say it's competitive because I guess the Patriots were just storming back. I got my D at right there. I mean, <laughs> pardon me, y'all. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to record this, <clears throat> man. 
Falcons lost. I can't believe it. Yo, so I'm living, me living in the ATL. I have a lot of friends who are Falcons fans. So they're on Snapchat always talking shit to me about the Falcons. I'm like, I'm like, you shouldn't be talking shit to me, man. Damn, my bad. The recording fucked up. But y'all shouldn't be talking shit to me because y'all suck. So, so it's whatever, man. The dude, Grady, uh, Jared, he was pressuring Tom Brady all night. Man, y'all defense showed up in the first half. And in the second half, y'all was looking like these other people I'm playing on the other team. That's how I was looking like. Trey getting obliterated, man. But anyways, uh, Falcons, y'all probably be back next year. Y'all offense is high power. But anyways, that's just a little bit of Super Bowl talk, man. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.